Okay, I'm very excited. This is a commission piece. It's a beautiful gold guitar, electric guitar. I've taped it all up and I'm going to resin pour it. And I've decided to do it in a beach scene. Originally, I was going to um, try to, I was going to paint it first in these sort of colours. Um, but then I thought it's going to make it too thick, so I'm going to have to have the layer of paint. Then I'm going to have to the, have the resin. And I, so I've decided I'm going to resin pour it and I've covered up the best part of the gold here. And I'm going to actually make it um, a beach scene running this way, which will cover up the faded areas of the actual gold guitar. So I'll mix it all up and I'll be right back. And let us begin. Um, I'll list all these colours underneath. The, um, the, the type of resin I'm using and all the colours. All the colours and pigments are from Lorez Expressions. Okay, so I'm making that this is the darkest part of the sea and we're running off into the different levels of blues. Um, blue being my favourite client's colour. So we'll see how we go. Oh, that's going quite good. I'm happy with that. I need to mix up some more. Oh, 
and mix in a combination of liquid pigments, pastes and, and mica powders. Got it as balanced as I can possibly get too. <laughs> this is going good. Okay. To stop that for a moment I need to mix more up back again got some more mixed up I'm loving what's happening here because there is the curve of the the um, guitar it is going to run of course off this way
Oh, I'm loving how this is going. I think my client will too. He just loves this look of like oil on water. So I'm that's what I'm trying to achieve for him. I'm just picking up some of the resin that's dripped off here. See if I can't make the most of it. I think my first coat is done. It's looking spectacular. gloss off now just going to give it a blow torch make sure there's no air bubbles and now I'm going to put on I'm hoping I don't spoil it if I do I'll just cover it up tomorrow but I want to Put on some waves on here. Absolutely love this piece. Right, let's see. So I'm going to just some waves on and see what I think if I don't like it I will cover it up tomorrow let's see I've got to find the switch to turn this on it might be a bit loud oh oh that's great I've <laughs> I've gelled the switch down it doesn't work <laughs> okay I'll have to do it with a straw Let's see. Sorry, some of the lights have gone out. I'm 
We'll see how that goes. that should start lacing up so that's my first level done and we will just wait and see how that goes and um, yeah no I'm happy with that and we'll come back tomorrow Okay, here we are the next day. I'm really quite happy with the results. I'm really delighted about it, actually. Um, I've sent a picture of the first layer to my, my client. He's also very happy with it. Um, it's very hard because this beautiful guitar is curved in the middle so to try and stop everything rolling off I've had to level it up earlier so it's meant a lot of it's pulled back this way but hopefully all this tape is protecting the guitar so now I'm going to do the next layer um, and going to go again with the same colours I don't know if I'll put the white in now but this is the next layer all right let's see is it working yes need to over that side a little bit more there we are so we will go once again First one was lapis lazuli, which is a um, a liquid pigment. And the second colour I've used here is a powder and um, mica powder called peacock green. And I've added with it. Where is it now? Um, oh yes. Starburst in a mica powder, which has uh, my customer doesn't want glitter, but this will just I put it in the first layer and it hasn't overtaken, so I'm using it again. And this is the color here, it's a metallic. Oh, 
what I'm anticipating is that a lot of the colours underneath will also shine through. I'm trying to create a three-dimensional look here. Next one I'm using is um, it's actually called Lilac Whisper, and it is a paste, um, a metallic paste. Here's the colour here. Just gonna see if I can't raise that end up a bit. I'm actually gonna squish down the cup. Let's raise it just a little bit. <laughs> I just want to mingle these before it all right rolls off. This is, yeah, this has got something here. Not sure, oh yes, and I'm not sure if this is padded taped over or not we'll go on here anyway This one's called Horizon Blue in a liquid pigment paste. Okay, now I'm going to get some of those air bubbles out. I've completed the second application of 
the same colours minus the white for the waves um, and decided to just keep it as a as a mixture of blues which is what my client did ask for in the beginning although he said to leave it up to me so I'm going to leave it now and that's it we'll let that cure that isn't a lump it's a piece of paper I've got to pull that paper off there so um, I've tried to to support it this so it doesn't all roll off which is what was happening so we'll see how it goes anyway I'll be back when that has cured just going to remove all the all the tape which I'm so glad it has protected everything so that's wonderful it's completely cured I do have some little little lumps there I'm going to remove all the tape and see where we're at. Okay, well here's the finished result of my first ever attempt of resin coating a guitar. Um, I've just, as you can see, I've just got to tidy that tiny edge up there. But other than that, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I'm hoping that my client likes it too. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please click and subscribe. Thank you.